Hello and welcome to another edition of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today we have a quick video for a question that often comes up. Is a particular patent expired? So here is a quick summary of how that works and how you can check on the expiration status or enforce status for a specific patent. So the term for this is patent term. A patent term is how long a patent is in force. Once a patent is no longer in force, then it generally cannot be used to stop competitors. So if you were thinking of starting an enterprise, but were concerned about a particular patent that was out there, this is a common exercise to check if that patent is still in force. So how long do patents last? Basically, it's up to 20 years from the filing date. But we are going to put an asterisk there because in certain cases, it can go a little bit beyond the 20 years, and we'll get into that in a few minutes. The clock actually starts from its earliest effective non-provisional U.S. filing date. So if the patent claims priority to a provisional application or a foreign patent application, we don't count that when it comes to starting the clock. A patent term adjustment is something that the U.S. Patent Office may grant in circumstances where there was an excessive delay in the examination process. In such cases, the U.S. Patent Office may provide, to use soccer parlance, some bonus time. Sometimes a patent can go out of force earlier than the 20 years. The most common way this typically happens is with unpaid maintenance fees. Recall that to keep a patent in force, maintenance fees need to be periodically paid. If they are not paid, the patent goes out of force. Let's look at a real example. Here is a patent, and as a learning exercise, we want to answer the question, when did this patent expire? So there are a few key dates. One is the filing date. This application was filed as a PCT, or Patent Cooperation Treaty type of application, in the U.S. Patent Trademark Office on November 30, 2000. This patent claimed priority to a foreign application from November 30, 1999. Another important thing to check is the patent term extension. Not every patent has one, but this one happens to. In particular, as indicated, it is 270 days. So recall, we don't start the clock from a provisional patent application or a foreign patent application, so we're not going to use the date from the orange arrow. We start counting 20 years from the date here by the blue arrow, which is the first U.S. Uh, patent application filing date. So we're going to count 20 years from there, from November 30, 2000. We know that a patent can last up to 20 years, so it could, could have expired on November 30, 2000. First, we want to check if maintenance fees were paid. If they weren't, this patent will go out of force earlier than 20 years. I have a video on maintenance fees if you want more information on that, and I will put a link to that video in the description. Here we check the maintenance fees for this patent on the U.S. Patent Office website, and we see that they are all paid up so the patent should be enforced for the maximum possible term. If these fees weren't paid, then the patent would no longer be enforced once the deadline to pay one of these fees had ran out. So now we know this patent should be enforced for its full 20-year term, but now we need to apply the extension, which is 270 days. The best way to compute this is to go to a date calculator, of which there are numerous available online. Here's the one I used, and I used the 20-year anniversary date, which was November 30th, 2020, and added 270 days, which brings us to August 27th, 2021, which is the date that the patent expired. Another way to find this information quickly is with Google Patents. Here is the patent as shown in Google Patents, and here is our adjusted expiration date. Again, it's August 27th, 2021. So this is the easy way, but if you want to cross-check the results, now you know how they arrived at that date. Note that if a patent is really old, let's say filed at least 25 years ago, then it is very, very likely to be expired and no longer in force. As an example, 
This patent on a razor that was filed in 1915 is no longer in force. If I wanted to start a company that does the thing described in this patent, this patent could not stop me. Of course, it could not stop anyone else either, so this patent would not do anything to stop competitors from making, using, or selling this razor either. One final note, the U.S. Patent Office does provide a patent term calculator. It's not something I use, but I am sharing the page here, and you can see the URL at the top of the image if you wanted to investigate this area further. Note that what we covered here shows the basic principles for how to determine if a U.S. patent is in force. However, they are not intended to cover a specific circumstance or situation. So if you need this analysis done for one or more patents and are unsure, then it's worth considering hiring a professional to help you with this analysis. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If so, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks again for watching.